six o'clock here. Yeah. It's recording. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm a kid with a dream. I'll be documenting every single day. The day I become successful, we will look back at this. It's that time of the day again. We've got to get our work done. You've got to work hard before you play hard, yeah? This video, however, guys, is something that I want to let out of my chest because it makes me feel like I take a weight off my shoulder. Because social media is a very, very tricky game. Right, 2019, where social media is now taking over people's lives, it's, it's hurting people mentally, a lot of mental health problems. I know that I don't want to be in that position. I'm 19 years old, yo. I would never want it to affect me. I would never want it to change me. I would never want it to affect my religion or my connection with Allah. Oh no, bro, back in London. Literally a day ago, I was in Dubai, 40 degrees weather. Well, all the people in London here are just so miserable, man. I need to get myself out of this place ASAP. Come to central London, I need to go shopping for some clothes. I have no clothes left, guys, honestly. Even a mind, she's a dangy. I was in that shop for five minutes. The rain started pouring, literally in a t-shirt only as well. But yeah, I didn't even find anything so far in the shops. I'm gonna try a few other shops. And also, don't worry guys, we'll have a catch up with everything. And I will tell you and I explain to you the whole title and everything behind this video because it will make a lot of sense, trust me. Yes, I disappeared and now I'm back. <laughs> Fun fact, I used to work here for like three months. Funny experience. And that's what you call a 320 pound finesse. My favorite perfume, but who has time to be spending 320 pound on a perfume? When I make perfumes. See that last clip guys, where I said I didn't find anything? Well, something just happened and I don't know how it happened. In fact, I know how it happened. All it took was 550 pounds deducted from my account and voila. Decided to get some bits, some new clothes, shoes. <sighs> just 550 pounds. finish praying so I'm gonna go find a cool place to just stay and just talk oh hey, there's nothing more beautiful than Islam and the commitment to Allah May Allah bless these brothers and me we definitely do need to talk I've been wanting to do this for a very long time but overthinking definitely is the reason why it took me five years to press record it sounds silly but we'll get into it guys as you can see from the title of this video i disappeared for five years and finally decided to come back we'll start off with the first part of this title disappearing for five years i'm pretty sure you guys can understand i didn't actually disappear but i disappeared from the face of youtube five years ago was the last time i decided to upload a video what i used to enjoy and love which is create which is document which is share my life with people around the world but five years ago i can't say that that's exactly what i was feeling it started in that way i was 17 and i was in school and the first ever video i made was titled kid with a dream and yeah i was literally a kid with a dream little did i know that I'd be picking up the camera and eventually be talking to millions of people from around the world. And it started off that way. I was innocent, just picking up the camera, vlogging, so excited, so naive, so young. I thought I knew it all though. I did think I was grown and mature and wise. Even though, yeah, I have been through a lot of things that have taught me things, but I was nowhere near the person that I was 
going to become. And as time went on, I started making more and more videos, which started to gain more and more attention. More and more people from around the world started to notice me, started to watch my videos. The subscribers started to grow. The views started to grow. Our community started to grow. And I'd say at that time, I was, how do I say it? I was probably the most saddest I've ever been. What I'd show to people on the camera was just normal. But deep down inside of me, I was just very confused and very lost in life. I was a 17, 18, 19 year old kid. But there came a point where it didn't sit right with me anymore. Making these videos, it felt like I was, wasn't being myself. I was still growing. I was still learning and started to evolve into the person that I was. I guess what happened after some time is even though things were growing and things were becoming successful, I was no longer becoming successful. I was slowly, slowly losing the happiness inside of me, that passion, the creativeness. And it started to become more about overthinking things, trying to perfect things, trying to be a certain way so that I can fit the narrative of what people like and what people want to see. Then came a point where enough was enough and I thought, this is it. I don't want to pick up a camera no more. I don't want to make videos. I don't want to share my experiences. I don't want to share my life with nobody. I didn't even know who I was and I'm trying to show to people who I was. I felt more like people knew more about me than I knew about myself. And there's no way you can continue in life like that. It's impossible. So I decided to stop. At the time I had just under 55,000 subscribers. The views on the channel were millions. It was difficult. It was scary. It was hard, but the best thing I've ever done in my life. Because after that began the real journey, the journey of discovering me. It wasn't easy for sure. And that's why I had to disappear for five years because it took five years of hard work, of growth, of accountability, self-reflection. It was a very lonely journey and it taught me to be okay with solitude. It taught me to be okay with just being by myself. So once I threw myself in that deep end, a lot happened in that journey. A lot happened in those five years. My life's changed. It went up, it went down, people left my life, felt heartbroken at times. All along, it was just this compound effect. It was just me building brick by brick, this amazing house that was to be, which is me now, alhamdulillah. I, I had to suffer a lot. I'm just so glad what happened happened. I'm just so glad for all the hardships I had to go through. I'm so glad for things that I had to experience because they made me who I am today. And you should never be ashamed of it. I started teaching myself that my disadvantages are in fact my advantages. It's just how you perceive things. All I was learning from that experience was how important it was to have myself. How important it was to find out who I was. Me, Idris Bwaitora. And that is the reason why I can say I'm still standing here today. And most importantly, if I didn't have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then definitely would have been a different story to where I am today. And so that leads me on to my next point, which is in that five years, a lot of growth took place, not just financially, not just physically, not just mentally, but most importantly, spiritually. As I started to focus more on my deen, as I started to grow closer to Allah and improve my relationship, I started realizing that things that I used to do didn't sit right with me anymore, which is the reason why I guess those five years of disappearance made sense because I couldn't be the person I used to be. The person that people probably subscribed to, the person people probably fell in love with, who used to watch and support and feel a connection towards. I couldn't be that person anymore. I started realizing the importance of privacy and Alhamdulillah, in 2022, I went on an Umrah trip. And that was the best thing I ever did in my life. A surreal experience. I went out there for a reason because at the time I had to heal from some things that I was going through. And after coming back, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me the answers. Allah showed me the ways. And it, was, it was a journey within itself. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't just going out there, finding the answers, coming back and everything was fine. No, it still took work. Again, I still had to continue working on myself until I'd say the beginning of this year is where things started to change. I started to see a shift in my life. 2024, I started to realize the importance of letting go. Things that you've got internally, whether that be your traumas or whether that be things that you're going through, I had to let go. I had to come to terms with those things. Literally bring those things out into the surface and just face it head on. Once I did that, I felt that freedom. I felt that liberation, almost as if the shackles were finally released. After that, I started to finally put pieces together. The puzzle started to finally make sense. I could confidently say that after everything I went through and that journey and that sacrifice, and even that five year of disappearance, finally, finally, I could say that I felt comfortable in who I was. Alhamdulillah. To honor that, I started to write down some goals. 
in the beginning of this year. For the first time, I'd say, in my life, where I genuinely felt like I can finally have clarity in my head in writing goals. My first goal this year was to take myself and my mom and my sister on an Umrah trip. Alhamdulillah, I completed that. My second goal was to launch my business, aside from the business that I was also doing at the time, but finally a business that meant something to me, which was Qibla and also Project Qibla down the line. Essentially the brand, the message behind it all is, it's all about the right direction. The, the only thing that kept me going and the only thing that kept me on the right direction was my prayers. And to pray, I always knew I had to face the Qibla. SubhanAllah. Almost as if it was meant to be. The Qibla was the direction. I wanted to take that concept and almost create the brand as a symbol of that. A representation and admiration towards that universally understood concept by all the Muslims around the world. To bring hope to people, to inspire people, to provide direction. And so I did that. I launched the business. I launched the clothing brand. And Alhamdulillah, it was a real good success. I then decided to start Project Qibla, which meant project, right direction. Where I wanted not only to bring a community of brothers and inshallah in the future, sisters as well. I wanted to bring brotherhood, togetherness, travel, implement all these things into one. And Alhamdulillah, also launched that. We have our first Umrah trip in February 2025. You guys can join as well if you want. Feel free to DM us at Project Qibla. Also on the list, getting married, which I achieved. And I can sit here today and say that I'm proud of myself for what happened in that marriage. But Alhamdulillah, got to keep it moving and you can't allow things to get to you emotionally, especially as a man. That experience was a real lesson and, 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 and a learning curve. So there's a pattern of things that you guys are starting to realise. Is that beginning of this year, after I decided to finally embrace who I was, my life started to finally fall into place because I realised that I'm confident, I believe in myself. I know who I am. That's the problem that I, I used to always have. I used to have all this success and all this attention and all these achievements, but I didn't know who I was. I'd literally start and then give it up. Start, give it up. Everyone else around me was celebrating these things and everyone else around me was so proud of these achievements and was so happy for me. But because I wasn't fine within myself and confident within myself, I didn't ever feel that feeling of achievement, which is why I gave it up. Now you see the difference of what happens when you start to believe in yourself. What happens when you take some time off, whether it be a, a month, six months, one year, five years to lock in on yourself. And then after that, there's no one that can tell you otherwise. But ultimately, there was one thing on the goals that I still did not achieve. And I still had this thing that I was really battling with myself was, um, it was this, it was this right here. It was picking up a camera and um, just pressing record, revisiting my YouTube channel, finally feeling confident enough to post videos again. It all changed when I started to realize that I don't want to feel that regret anymore. I don't want to feel the regret as time continues to go on and I'm just there wasting opportunities. The opportunity of being able to document my life, being able to share my experiences with people from around the world. I have a platform. I have a voice. I know how much wisdom and how much I can help people from around the world. How much I can build a community. How much my voice will be able to inspire people. And I'm tired of delaying that. I'm tired of allowing the voices in my head to think, oh, but I need to have a certain amount of views. I need to have a certain amount of subscribers. Things need to be done in a certain way. I need to be perfect. That's all lies. That's what leads me up to the second part of the title. I've decided to come back. I've decided to finally press record and I am gonna document my life. And I don't care whether one person sees it or five or hundred or millions. Because the same way that 17 year old version of myself kid with a dream started by literally hitting record not knowing if even one person was going to watch his videos and eventually amassed to millions of people watching him i got to do the same thing again this is literally a, a reborn it's a 2.0 but alhamdulillah this time i have no who i am there's an identity and i know along this journey there are so many people that i'll be able to help so many people that i'll be able to inspire so many people that will be able to resonate with my story so this is what brings me to today finally i have ticked off my goal for 2024, just to film this YouTube video. Welcome to the journey. And I hope to see you throughout. And for anyone who comes back to watch this video after the future of seeing the hundreds of videos I hope to create and the millions of people that finally watch my journey and watch my story, understand that it all started in this moment here. So if you're part of it now, I appreciate you. I love you for the sake of Allah. And let's get to work, Alhamdulillah. Make sure you subscribe and yeah, follow the Instagram at Voice of Idris on all platforms, guys. Let's go.